open for milk. The campus coffee shop has allowed Elise Manbird to help work her way through college at UCLA. There you go. Have a good day. The only problem? She graduated five months ago. Both my parents had jobs when they left college, and so I kind of always expected that that, that was going to be the same situation for me. What she didn't plan on was hitting one of the worst job markets for college graduates in a generation. Now, even as the economy begins to recover, job creation is lagging. A couple of my friends have unpaid internships. A couple are working at just part-time. A lot of them are in coffee shops. Two years ago, the unemployment rate for 20 to 24-year-olds with bachelor's degrees was just 2.2 percent. Now it's more than four times that at 9.3 percent. Kathy Sims heads UCLA's Career Center and says this is the worst job market she has seen in her 32-year career. Next year could be worse. The class of 2010 will not just be competing with itself. It'll be competing with some of the class of 2008 and many of the class of 2009. Compounding the problem is the huge amount of debt students have when they graduate. The average undergraduate credit card balance is $3,000. And the 60% of students who need to borrow money to get through school end up owing nearly $23,000. At the beginning of November, I have to start paying back roughly about twenty dollars to $25,000 worth of loans, which uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Kyle Voigt graduated a year ago, hoping to get a job in advertising. He moved back in with his dad and has yet to find a job. And at this point, will you take anything? A anything. Anything. Kyle is now considering joining the Navy. Meanwhile, the Peace Corps, AmeriCorps, and Teach for America have all had record numbers of applicants. Have a good day. Elise Manbert is still optimistic. I just feel like my personal luck has to improve. And that she can finally graduate to a full-time job. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.